Hey everyone, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about how to be more confident, how to build your confidence, and give you a little bit of tips and tricks on how I actually built my confidence. Building your confidence isn't going to be an overnight thing. Everybody who's here who thinks that they're gonna hear some like crazy tip that's like meditate and then go to sleep and the next morning you're like a completely brand new person. No. It took took years or months for you to get to this place where you weren't feeling confident. So obviously it's gonna take a little bit of time for you to build this confidence. Tip number one is the most classic piece of advice, fake it until you make it. Girl, I feel you, okay? I used to hate getting this piece of advice, but I understand now like why it's so important to fake it until you make it. First thing that you wanna do is you wanna have a really good look at all of the stories that you're telling yourself. So are you telling yourself that you can't do something or you can't be someone or you can't achieve something or you're holding yourself back from something? Take those stories and start to change the narrative around it. Tell yourself how amazing you are, how talented you are, how funny you are. When I started doing this, this is when my confidence really started to shift because again, it's a mindset. When you're having like a negative mindset, then obviously you're going to feel negative about yourself. When you start to tell yourself that you are sexy, tell yourself that you are good enough, tell yourself that you deserve these things. Like you can't be confident if you're like in your mind, you're not even feeling Feeling good about yourself. Feeling awful about yourself and not allowing yourself to do things or being worried about the way that you look, the way that you dress, the way that other people are going to perceive you, um, all of those things is so freaking exhausting. Like, are you exhausted? Because I'm exhausted just thinking back to the time when I used to be unconfident. You're not gonna get anywhere by sitting in your basement or in your bedroom, watching Netflix, telling yourself the same stories over and over again about how terrible you are. You are going to start thinking as if you are your dream self. If she was having a bad day, which we all have bad days, she would lift herself back up up when she was having a bad day. She would not continue to tear herself down. So you need to start thinking, is this how my dream self would actually behave? Would my dream self say these things to herself? No, she wouldn't. Stop telling yourself stories about who you don't want to be or who you think that you are and start embodying who you dream of being. My second tip 100% goes hand in hand with my first tip and that is change your body language. Okay, so when we're talking about fake it till you make it, we want to be faking it in our minds, telling ourselves all of these stories so we can start to cultivate this confidence and this awareness in ourselves. We also want to be doing the same thing with our body language. So like, would we be like sloping over like this? No, we would hold our shoulders back and have our head held high because that is who we are. We're showing other people and we're also showing our own self, our body, that that is how we feel about ourselves. So I'm just gonna tell you a little story that kind of goes with my point here. So when I was in high school, I thought if I slouched over and like made myself smaller and everything like that, that it would physically make me look smaller because I was so obsessed with the way that I looked because I was quote unquote bigger than some of the girls in my grade. And I thought that that meant that I needed to change. I thought that that was a bad part of myself. So I made myself physically smaller. Other people can tell. You know when you can tell when somebody's confident? That's what we're trying to embody. We're trying to become this confident human being with our body language. Would your dream self be slouched over all the time? Would your dream self just like not look at people in the eyes when they're talking, your dream self would be like, yes, this is who I am. I am unapologetically myself. You want to show up physically as that person. I consciously started making the effort 
to notice it so it eventually became a habit. Try it for a month or two and you will honestly be blown away by the difference that it actually has on you mentally as well. Tip number three is using music to help build your confidence. If I'm going to an important meeting or have an important date or an important event of any kind, what I will do that day is I will put my favorite tunes on, put my headphones on, and I will just absolutely jam out to music. I really feel like my inner goddess can come out. She's feeling sexy, she's feeling great. So if you have never tried dancing to hype yourself up, that is your homework assignment. How I actually started was I would choose a song to listen to, put my headphones on, and I would brush my teeth in the morning and at nighttime and just jam, 100% jam out to it like nobody's watching. Just allow the music to go through your body, really feel the rhythm. That's when your confidence is gonna come out. You're gonna feel so freaking good. I'm so excited for you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if this is like a practice that you do and if so, what song is your number one hype song? Because maybe we can start like a little playlist, a little goddess playlist, goddess hype playlist. My fourth tip is to celebrate yourself, okay? But not just celebrating your greatest accomplishments and how awesome you are. Obviously, that is so important to build your confidence. Take those negative things, those negative feelings that you have for yourself and start to give them love, start to heal them, start to put confidence into them. Because when you start doing that, you're gonna feel more well-rounded and you're gonna feel confident in yourself because you're like, yeah, what of it? What do you have to say to me that I don't already know about myself? What could somebody else possibly say to me that I have already felt about myself and healed. Celebrate everything in your life because they're all lessons to be learned. When you start to celebrate those things that you don't like about yourself, that's when you're going to start to feel more confident about who you are. We're gonna go on to the very last tip, but if you guys are really enjoying this video, then please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Number five is don't build your self-worth, your self-confidence in other people's opinions. If you saw my How I Stopped Hating Myself video, then you will know that I literally spent more than half of my life hating myself and always trying to people please and make sure that other people liked me. I was worried about other people's opinions on how much I weighed, what I looked like, how I spoke, how outgoing I was, and how intelligent I was. I always felt like everybody else thought that I was stupid. I synthesized information very differently. So from a very young age, I figured out, I don't actually understand certain things the way that other people do, so that must mean that I'm stupid. And I had kids make really mean comments to me all the way up until high school. It really made me think that I was stupid. I'm obviously not. I just think in a different way and that's okay. Like I said in the last tip, I accepted that thing about myself and it's allowed me to progress and become confident and know I'm actually intelligent. The way I reacted to other people's opinions kept me small for so many years. You can't control what other people say to you, what other people's opinions are of you, but you can control the way that you react to other people's opinions. Your confidence and value cannot come from what other people's opinions are or what other people's opinions are of what you are or are not doing. You need to be your biggest cheerleader. You need to hype yourself up, challenge the way that you view yourself. Do not allow other people's opinions to hinder your growth, hinder your confidence into being the person that you are meant to be, okay? You will start to feel more confident in yourself when you start to do the work. Let everyone know in the comments down below if this video resonated with you. Okay, make sure to give it a big like if you enjoyed it. And also, what is your number one confidence tip? And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!